are there any stereotypes oh. of your profession? Yeah. There are. Okay. So the let's first, hear them. the very first is nurses are doctors' assistants or doctors' handmaid, okay. which is not true because it's a profession by itself. Um, another stereotype is there are no male nurses. Today we have a registered nurse with us who goes by the name Mama Jerry Adams and we're delighted to have him on the channel today to tell us about the nursing profession, his experiences so far, what the life's journey vis-a-vis -vis the practice has been as well. We're delighted to have you with us. You're Thank welcome you, to sir. the channel. You're welcome. Thank so, you, um, Perhaps we're entering into the profession, you know, the practice as an undergraduate. In high school, what did you think you would study? In high school, I envisioned myself a medical doctor. So yes, medicine and surgery. Was the first choice for you. Yeah. So what changed? Well, should I say life? I right. think I'll say life. The life happened and then perhaps nothing changed you. Yeah, nothing did. All right, that's interesting. Um, how long does it take to train to become a registered nurse post-secondary okay. education? So there are two pathways to becoming a registered nurse. We have through School of Nursing that takes three years and through the university that takes five years with a year of internship. So both pathways can lead someone to becoming a licensed yeah, registered nurse. Okay. However, there are slight um, differences. Yeah. I think we'll want to know those differences. Okay, so from the university you graduate with your BNSC, your registered nursing certificate and your registered midwifery. Why in School of Nursing or from School of Nursing is basically just RN that's registered nurse. Okay, so yeah. overall the BSc training has more advantages. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay. What makes your practice so unique? The practicing as a nurse, what makes it special and stands out from the other health professionals? First of all, it's proximity to patients. I mean, basically, pet nurses are just there always at the patient's bedside. You know, basically from birth to death, nurses are there. And secondly, I feel what makes nursing unique is access, access to nations. Because I don't think there's a nation on earth where nurses are not needed. That's very true. So there are many opportunities for nurses, regardless yeah. of your gender, background, your know, citizenship, true. and those other factors. And why should someone choose nursing? If there's one thing, why one reason why you would say someone should come over and join your profession, what's that one? Okay, as subtly stated earlier, that would be job security because nurses will always be needed, right? And a sense of fulfillment, you know, being there, seeing your patients get better. I think there's a sense of fulfillment in that. Are there any stereotypes oh. of your profession? Yeah, there are. Okay, so the let's first, see them. The very first is nurses are doctor's assistants or doctor's handmaid, okay. which is not true because it's a profession by itself. Um, another stereotype is there are no male nurses, but as you can see, I am a nurse and I am very much male. Yeah, so those are, two. I think those are the two commonest um, yeah. stereotypes we have, yeah. you know, about nurses. And the second point is a place where patients obviously make the mistake sometimes True. addressing True. female doctors as nurses and addressing male nurses Personally, as doctors. That's yeah. correct. Personally, I'm tired of correcting because they just believe because I'm a guy or I'm a male, I'm a doctor. Yeah. What's your daily routine like in the profession? Okay, so when I'm on duty or when I'm um, doing my work days, basically when you resume, you take over and afterwards we just get to analyze ourselves that patient gets to, you know, um, chat out their medications, serve medications. Then if we have patients in theatre, we go pick them up. Then some days also there may be investigations in a different facility. A nurse will be required to go along to ensure that everything goes well. Yeah, patient, yeah. Safety. patient safety. How many hours do you work on average in a week? Basically, 35 to 77 hours. Okay, so this is depending on the duration of the shift? So yeah, we run three shifts basically, so depending on which. Private practice or an academic mixed clinical practice, what's your pick? Okay, I would say both. So initially, um, or rather, firstly, I would love to go into private practice and afterwards, maybe older, go into the academic practice. And is there a reason why? from school, I've always loved to, let's say teach, but I've always enjoyed more like impacting knowledge, just sharing what I've learned with others. So I feel after my clinical practice years, I would have some level of knowledge impact and I really don't want this to go the way. So I think I'm moving to the academics. Oh. What's the most rewarding part of your profession? Seeing my patients get better, like that is just it for me. When they are discharged and gosh, I feel so happy. It's like we won the lottery. Yeah. 
I can imagine. As a doctor, I, I know that feeling. Yes, I know that feeling. And um, it's not in a financially rewarding profession, equivalent to the stress it comes with. I'm sorry, I have to laugh so hard. No, it's not. Um, there's this funny saying, I love our rewards and God bless you, which is very much okay. However, it's not financially. Not really. Yeah, as much as it should be. Yeah. So, more can be done in that respect, I hope. True. In the coming years. True. If not nursing for you, what else? Well, if not nursing, I believe I'll go into. I'm not a sports person, so maybe just lecturing history or something. Oh. Okay. If you could change one thing about the practice now, what would that be? One thing. I'd have preferred two things, but well, one thing. We can hear the books. We can hear the books. Oh, okay. Things, yeah. One thing. Firstly, it would be the pay. Like, my God, we really we could really use a raise. Then, secondly, would be the work environment. It would be the work environment. It's so poor. It's so poor. Yeah. What is work-life balance for you like? Well, basically, for me, when I'm not on duty, you're not seeing me anywhere around the hospital, yeah? However, I like to rest during my off duties and spend time with family. It's as though the whole world is moving and most times I'm even left out. So spend time with family and rest. And how has training to be a nurse changed you? Oh, it made me a lot more patient. Dealing with humans can do that, really. So it made me a lot more patient in my approach to people, in my approach to life. Basically, it also made me, um, I like to say, more competitive, but more able to juggle a lot of activities together, multitasking. Yeah, the ability to multitask. Do you have any regrets? No, nah, none whatsoever. Not at all. At all. What are the top factors that you consider people should take into cognizance when they are deciding what course to study in the university? Okay, the first would be interest. Interest. You really want to be interested in your course because there are days you ask yourself, why am I doing this? Um, another factor I believe will be the pay. The pay is very important because I mean you're not going to run on passion always or only. Then another factor that is very important is your skills. What are you really good at? What do you see yourself excelling more than others at? And job security. You don't want to go for a job that is going to go out of place. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any challenges that you've had that you want to share and how you overcame them? Well, oh, as it pertains to nursing, nah, I'm not sure. Of course, there are challenges, but um, right not now, significant enough. Yeah, so. yeah, just basic life hurdles. What's your advice to the aspiring nurse out there? Just be ready. Just be ready. Nothing is not the cute scrubs or the cute white you see in movies. It's a lot more tasking. You're going to be dealing in close proximity with humans, and sometimes these patients, um, they are their worst state. So you need to be ready. Yeah. All right. With that, I think we. We'll touched on all the questions that we have to answer today. It's been a pleasure having you on the channel. Thank um, you, thank you. So the aspiring us who will be watching this at any point in time, whether now or in the distant future, we're shouting out to you. Yeah. We hope you make the best choice regarding your career, where you want to sub-specialize, the country you want to work, and a host of other things. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching up to this point, if you did, and you'll hear from me again, definitely. Thank you for having me. All right.